Hey, good morning everybody. It's Angie under the hat behind the mask. I'm gonna wait for a few folks here to jump on camera with us to watch what we've got. We have a super big surprise for you. We have a spontaneous event that has happened and we are pretty, pretty excited. So here we go. Our numbers are just flying up through the roof. Let's get, there we go. Now we're getting some folks on. So hey, we see hearts flying already. I want you guys to see where we're at. Today we are in front of Pixie's Paws Pet Palace. They are our, pa our partner daycare facility. They work with all dogs, including special needs. They were wonderful with Dylan. Dylan has spent a lot of his time here prior to his passing and they were wonderful. They knew how to administer the medication and they were able to take care of him when he had his seizures. Zeb also spends time here and so does Sprinkles. And so we wanted to make sure to give them a big shout out while we were here. So they, you see them in the background. All right, look at our numbers are coming up huge. Ladies and gentlemen, the special for today is a reunion of our puppy mill dogs. Yes, and we have eight of the nine. So Madonna, of course, is not here because she is with her puppies. And there is Judy. She's saying hi to everybody from Pasadena, Texas. We love that folks jump on from all over the world to watch this live. All right, Mercy's on, woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, this is my very first celebrity from our puppy mill group. This is uh, Twinkle. Oh my goodness, all of a sudden I panicked with the name. This is Twinkle. Twinkle is getting ready to go up for adoption. She has been medically cleared, so be watching for Twinkle. I want you guys to get another look at this gal. She is, look, we've got somebody from Arizona watching. Excellent, we are across the US. I know there's folks in San Diego watching us. Mercy, this is Twinkle. Twinkle has done pretty well with her potty training. She is good at the pee and she's still working on her pooping outside, but a good schedule with a little dog gets you everywhere. So she is now staying with, her, um, she's over at a friend's house right now hanging out so that's why I've got her she is great in the car all right so that's one of the key things if you see me looking down it's because I have a whiteboard with cheat sheet it's a cheat sheet whiteboard here she is great in the car she is still working on her leashing so what we're gonna tell you guys if you're looking to adopt any of these kids light lightweight leashes like cat leashes are the best because these guys are so tiny that any weight on a leash will make them crazy. So super lightweight. We've got Austin is checking in. Thank you, Susan. Um, she gets a little bit of separation anxiety. So here's the deal. She is all of seven pounds. This is your purse puppy. She will fit in any of your big bags. She will fit in a backpack or a front pack. And she is gonna be your gal pal. She is gonna go everywhere you go. Uh, how old is Twinkle. Twinkle, I believe, is right around four to five years old is what they have gauged, uh, what they're guessing she is. She has a good long life ahead of her. She is super, super sweet, Elisa, just like you see in the pictures. This is her. She um, has a really funny one and another one of these dogs, and you'll get to meet this dog next, sleeps in your shoes doesn't chew your shoes, but sleeps in your shoes. I just realized I'm alone on the camera. I don't have to have my mask on here. So she does sleep in shoes and she doesn't eat them, but she will find your slipper. She will find your shoe and she will curl up in it. Look at the camera girl because your future parents are out there watching you. She has um, learned to dress up and loves to dress up. Here's the thing. She likes to wear a different dress every two days. Ah, I have been corrected. Um, I have been corrected. Twinkle is two years old. So she's a young one. She is absolutely precious. She is curious. Uh, there's a dog running down the street with no leash. Guys, hold on to your dogs. There's a dog with no leash on the street. Okay, we gotta make sure we know these things because it gets a little bit nerve wracking here. So if you see me dash off and the camera's still on, it's because we've hidden the dogs inside the lobby here. So that's the deal. All of our dogs are heartworm negative. Yay! They are, I know, candy, right? Ugh. They are all on flea and tick preventatives and you will get the schedule with that. You'll get all their medical records. These dogs were all rescued 
on December 9th. And they were all rescued together and that's why we're doing the reunion. Keep your eyes open for the pictures of the reunion. All right, I am gonna switch from Twinkle to Cupid. Here comes Cupid. We're gonna, I'm gonna keep Twinkle in my arms because this is my last time to get to hug on her. You guys got to meet Cupid yesterday. Let me put my mask back on. So here we go, there's Cupid. Say hi Cupid, he's kiss smooth smooth. They look a whole lot alike, don't they folks? So you got the opportunity to meet Cupid yesterday on the live once again. Cupid has done exceptionally well on the potty training. What other things do you have to tell us about Cupid that you really think are important for folks to know? Cupid's really good on the leash for walking. He's great in the car. He likes to um, be on your lap pretty much all the time, unless he's running around. He has a lot of energy for an older dog. He definitely does not act as though he's seven years old. And of course, remember folks, these ages are pure guesses. We have no idea. Susan's jumped on and she said she would love to get Cupid. Susan, get your application in. We got quite a few applications in yesterday after we did our live. So if you're interested in these dogs, keep an eye up. Cupid right now is the only one of these dogs that's up for adoption. The rest of these dogs will be coming up in the next week or so, all right? So aren't they just precious, Barbara? And Barbara's in New Jersey. So now we've, we're so far Phoenix to New Jersey. We're getting across the whole US. So that's the deal here. Um, let's see, Cupid, again, some of the key points I have on my cheat sheet. Great in the car, great on a leash, absolute lap dog, absolute lap dog. Um, does get a little bit of separation anxiety. And when we talk about separation anxiety, we're talking barking. So again, these dogs, you're not gonna probably leave alone a whole lot. They're gonna be in with you in the car, in your bag, everywhere you go. Um, he has also got the same situation as Twinkle. He sleeps in shoes. He sleeps in shoes. He likes the smell of his foster parents. So you guys are gonna wanna definitely have some slippers around that he can tuck his nose into and take a good nap. Yep, so let's see, Candy's got a message up there talking about Cupid and how much in love she is with him. So we're so excited, thank you. Yeah, you'll notice he's in a different outfit that he was in yesterday. He's styling a new outfit. Yep, he's got a little bit of Burberry happening today, so that's pretty exciting. So any other things that we've missed on him? He's a great dog. He's gonna make someone a great companion. He's just sweet. You know, this is, this is the amazing part, okay? These poor dogs, yeah, you can't even stand it, right, Heather, how cute they are. Imagine being here in a puddle of eight of them, okay? Yeah, uh-huh, and, and this is- the tiniest of all of them. He is he's the about tiniest. about six pounds. So he's about six pounds, where Twinkle's a whole pound heavier. Look at the difference in size that one pound makes on little teeny dogs like this. Mind you, their feet are wet because it's kind of rainy here in Dallas. But this t shows you what a pound is. You know, we as humans wouldn't mind just gaining a pound. These poor guys gain a pound and it's probably close to a gain, you're gaining about 15 pounds. And that's what they're, oh, look at that. Oh, come on folks. <laughs> Who doesn't want this dog in their life, right? Darling. Oh my goodness. He's All right. Soft and fluffy. That's something I've noticed. And both of these look to be heavy on the poodle side. Yes, curly. Yeah, very Somewhat curly. Yep, they're super curly. They are super soft. Oh, Cupid. Whoever gets Cupid, I think you're stuck with a name because he's a super lover. <laughs> I think you're stuck with his name. All right, so let's switch out from Cupid. We're going to introduce you to Tiny Dancer. Here, I'm going to hand him off to our adoption counselor, Jenny. If Jenny waves at the camera. You'll know that's her sneaking off camera behind us. All right, folks, this is Maricela, and this is Dancer. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a secret about Tiny Dancer. Maybe Maricela should tell you guys. <laughs> What happened as a foster dear? I know I failed big time because she's just so cute. She melted into our hearts and even even older dogs are just they I mean honestly she she acts like a baby still. So she's I mean, they're I think babies at heart. Yep. And so they're I don't know, she just acts still like a little girl, but she's so good and she has taken on with the family and with our other puppies and so 
she's great. Yep, and she looks a lot like Madonna. So if you're wondering what Madonna looks like, here you go. <laughs> she looks a lot like Madonna. So Maricela and her family, they foster failed, which does happen. You get a dog and they get into your heart and yep. it's heart dog, not heartworm. It's exactly. heart dog. Exactly. And there's, <laughs> unfortunately, there's no pill to get rid of it and you end up foster failing. That's right. So we're pretty excited. Dancer's not going to be available for adoption, but uh, all of the dogs, only two were foster fails. You'll meet the next foster fail here in just a moment. And so those are the two that won't be up for adoption, but all the rest of them are absolutely up for adoption. But we didn't want to not get to introduce you guys to this young lady. She looks very, very much like Madonna. So if you're curious, Madonna will be up for adoption as well. All right, so here, I'm gonna give you Tiny Dancer back. And you guys did get to meet, when I did my live in downtown Garland, you did get to meet a precious young lady who is now joining us here on camera. It's a... Cookie. <laughs> we have changed her name to Chrissy. Oh, you have changed her name yes. to Chrissy. Yes. So this was Christmas Cookie with the gorgeous blue eyes. She was our other foster fail. So these are our two foster fails, but we didn't want to let you guys miss out on seeing them one more time. Now, here's what's interesting. This is what four of Madonna's puppies look like. Mm -hmm. So if you're curious as to what Madonna's puppies are probably gonna look like oh, yeah, when they get like bigger, this. here she is. Here, we're gonna pull her sweater off real quick. And the cute thing about her is in the morning when we put her leash on to take her out, she will just get up on my knees or kind of sit, stand up, because they all stand up so yeah. cute and we can put her sweater on so easily there so oh, she's oh here you go there you go you can see this is live and this is what we love about doing these lives so this is probably a lot of what madonna's puppies are going to look like so if you're thinking about adopting one of our or at least applying for our puppies we anticipate getting hundreds of applications per dog per puppy but this is most likely what Madonna's puppies are going to look like. Do you know if any of their eyes are blue? Or we, we, I don't know. They've just yeah. opened their eyes, so we have oh. no idea yet what color their eyes are. But wouldn't it be interesting if we ended up with another blue-eyed baby like this one? Mm -hmm. She is absolutely. Judy has sent you congratulations on Thank your you. fail. Never has such a non-positive word like fail felt so good, <laughs> right? Absolutely. It's a wonderful thing, and it's a great mm -hmm. club to be in, because I, too, have done it. Definitely blessed with her. So I have right. such a sweet spirit though, and loving, and, so loving. And a, a lot of all our dogs of are, are the same way. All the, of them. What was the guess on how old she is? She's five. So they're guessing she's about five years she old acts as like well. She's a puppy. It's crazy. She <laughs> chews. She loves my shoes. If I wore them, if I give her some old ones, she won't take them. They have to smell like me. <laughs> so they have to have the fresh scent of you. Yes, oh my goodness, crazy. folks. So yeah. these are things for you guys to recognize with this. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Because there are so many dogs, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break. These four are gonna go inside of Pixie Paws and the next four are gonna come out. So if you guys will give me a few minutes, we're gonna sign off. Then we're gonna sign back in. Give us about 15 minutes. I'm gonna change all of my notes and then we'll be ready. The next four dogs that we're putting on camera will be going up for adoption in the next two weeks. So we want you guys to get on here and get to learn. If you have questions about the dogs, absolutely pop them up on the screen because we'll be able to answer them. I have their fosters here with them, all right? So Mercy, Lena, everybody help us come back. We've got a huge crowd right now watching. We'll see you guys back in about 15 minutes. So watch for us, all right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, community. See you guys in a few minutes.